Hey guys, back on the Captain's Log. Welcome, and this is going to be a great show. I want to learn about the new Aspen Comedy Festival. You Portland. guys, Portland, oh, Portland, Portland Comedy Festival. Jeez, and I posted the wrong damn thing. <laughs> Oh, well. Oh, my God. So many people we are have to, go to the Aspen Festival. We have to now. adjust right. it. We have to adjust it. <laughs> anyway, I'm a fail. That's okay, buddy. It's That's a live right. show. It's, we just yeah, told you about live. it recently. You did just tell me, and I like talked to you for a second because I didn't want to get all the I details. Know. Because and we were talking I want to do it live. Things. I want everyone to see it live. It's better than So, we, Portland. Why did I say Aspen? Who the hell? Because there is an Aspen comedy there festival. There is, right? There yes. is the biggest. So you that's just... the biggest, probably. That in Montreal. Oh, that's the dude that actually was just talking to me. So, all right. So, here's the thing. You guys are going to do a comedy festival. Tell me about it. Yes. First of all, you're performing at Off the Hook Comedy Club. Thank yes. you for coming. Tonight and Sunday. 7 p.m. That's exciting. Yes, it Very is. Very exciting. So we I love this club. I have to tell people, if you've never been there, it is, and I'm, I'm not, and I'm, this is going live, so any comedy club owner that hears this, I don't care. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite comedy <laughs> clubs in the country, but I will I say this. I pay him to say this. I'm real No, he didn't. No, he didn't. But listen to me, you guys. The best food at any comedy club By in the far. world that I've ever they been to. That. And the I other clubs know that. Right. By far. But they all <laughs> should know this. I mean, you're a professional restaurant, that. a professional seafood restaurant that is also a comedy club. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, but, Rob. But that's, but Thank that people need to know that because what the problem is, is there's a stigma with food. People go eat before comedy clubs because yeah. they think you're going to have yeah. chips and salsa right. and stuff like that. Right. And you have incredible food. If they don't eat at your club, they're wasting their time. And then comics, obviously it's one of the best clubs to play. But there's a new green room that you guys are gonna love. They yes. are, they are. And actually, Mike, Mike Epps was like really mad about my previous green room. So, <laughs> so he you mean was, the, the storage room that he, I saw yeah. storage in. It was that a little I rough. I mean, night. Yeah. I wasn't known for my green rooms in the last few clubs, but this we we, we kicked there it wasn't up a notch. A green room at the last club was there? It was a closet. It, it was, was a closet oh, with yeah. a toilet. I don't even in remember? It had a toilet in it. There you go. Yeah. At least there's a toilet. Yeah. And then I ended up capping the toilet <laughs> and I put a couch over it. It was bad. It was bad. But it still looked okay. It just was small. Oh now it's a beautiful green room. I thought the green it room is. was it's the gorgeous. bar the last time. Uh, yeah. I took a whole like storage, uh, big storage room and we put big walls in and now it's like, it's nice. It's big. It's a nice green room. Yeah. 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 We redid the whole thing. So that was good. That was our fun uh, project the last few months. And uh, Kelly, the Naples handyman, he did a great job with me. He worked it out real good. Uh, tell me. Tell me about the festival. This is big news. This I'm is excited. huge news. I'm very excited. So our company, Golden Artist Entertainment, we launched three days ago. Go to the theportlandcomedyfestival.com for more information. Yep. It's going to be October 1st through 5th in the beautiful city of Portland, Oregon, which Portland's amazing. At Portland. I have Comedy not Club. been, actually, oh, to Portland, so but oh, I want to go. And you're going to come great. out. Yeah, I wanna, so I want to come out to that. Right. There's so much so to do. It's be a part great of it. foodie this, city. There's, the food is The food trucks so alone, great. you guys, are yeah. great. But there's a restaurant called Huber's. If you go to Portland, you must eat there. Yes. It started in cowboy days, whatever, 1800s. Really? It was a yes. bar, and this uh, there's a, a Chinese man. I forget the last name of that family, but they're still there. He went into the bar and said, can I sell turkey sandwiches? And he did, and then he made so much money, he bought the bar, and his nephew now still owns this restaurant and bar really? and told us the whole story. About and what's how his, his deal with the turkey? What does he do? Guess gobble, what? So like now, gobble, gobble around the no, restaurant? No, but guess what? They're still selling turkey there and it is the best restaurant uh, in Portland. Don't say turkey around my parents. They want me to put turkey on the menu every day. They're like, Brian, <laughs> you need a turkey what? sandwich. You need, everyone likes turkey. I'm like, no, ma, nobody wants to eat a turkey sandwich. But she does. So now you, you're going to jinx me if you say uh, it. Well, why don't yeah, you so give don't her a club her. sandwich? Yeah, then. yeah. Everybody likes a club sandwich. I know, right? Yeah. So, so the festival came up about. How did you guys come up with the idea? Like, what? We always wanted to do a comedy festival in Portland, just because we love it there. We perform there several times every year. Um, so and we we've were like, been running the U.S. comedy contest for in Los Angeles, years, right? We yeah. live Which in Los runs, Angeles, and we run the U.S. comedy contest right. from October through February. It's the most popular contest in L.A., and so people trust us, and so we figured let's expand. And right. everyone right. kept saying, "Hey, can you get us into Portland? That's a big city." that comics want to go to yeah. as booking agents we thought hey why don't we just introduce all these comedians to the bookers of the southwest and, and things like that 
And so that's what we're doing. And then obviously we have tons of celebrities that are there to just put on the We have, it's already, like we have a great lineup. We have six time Emmy winner, Bruce Valanche. Six Emmys, bitches. Six Emmys. Do you know who he is? That's so a lot. Bruce no, Valanche was center, no he was center square on Hollywood Squares for forever. He also, he's that, uh, he's got giant blonde hair. And he wears big red glasses. Oh yeah, now I know. Big yeah, funny know. gay guy. Yeah, yeah. Yes, he was the head writer for all of the Academy Award shows, I especially know with yes. Billy Crystal. Yep. Yes. Uh, so that's big. Yeah, and we have Tom Rhodes on the show. And Esther I love Tom. Coop, Tom's great. Stuttering John. My buddy. Yeah. And, uh, Stuttering yeah. John. Actually, Stuttering John, I think we were supposed to do a date or something with him, weren't we? Uh, with me and you? Yeah. No, we didn't have one on the books yet. I think but we let's talked do it. about well, it. Well, anytime you want him, I'll book Jeez, him here. Jeez, all Get these agent here. guys. What about the, uh, <laughs> why don't you do a whole uh, thing with him and uh, Jackie the Joke, man? You yeah, could have yeah, a whole yeah. Howard Stern weekend here. I, I would like to do that. We I can mean, do that. There you go. Uh, let's bring him out here. See how that works. Both of them. Let's Hollywood, do it. Okay. Everybody. All right, Jackie texted me. This he podcast, a... I just made money. Thank God. <laughs> it's about time. Oh, Jesus, I haven't. That was the Do first time we've booked at my company in 20 years. <laughs> yeah. It's on video. Jackie texts me every once in a while. He's like, oh, I'm coming back to Naples. I guess he's got a bunch of friends in town or yeah. something that live here. So um, years ago, he was there. Actually, it was 2006, How do you do? I think. 2006, I don't know. I don't even remember. <laughs> it was 2006. A long time ago. I don't even know if I had any marketing skills then, you know. But um, but anyway, yeah, that would be fun. That'd be good. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's exciting. Yeah, they're a funny show. Yeah, absolutely. But so Stuttering John is in the festival as well. Okay, good. It's, yes. It's five nights. And five nights, Portland, Oregon, October 1st through 5th. Submissions are open. Go to the PortlandComedyFestival.com for more information. Yeah, it's gonna and be we're going to have fun. improv groups. We're going to have podcasts, uh, podcasts. live yeah. podcasts. Yeah, what podcast do we have lined up so far? You, Tom you have the Captain's Log. We have the Captain's oh, Log. Oh, yeah, we should do the Captain's you Log. Yeah, live. Captain log. yeah we do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Time. that's what I'm going to do in Montreal you should, this yeah, year. Yeah, you should be like the yeah. guy who picks up some of the comics yes. at yeah. the. We'll like go with you and pick up the comics. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can do that. Like, I'm going to do that in Montreal this year. I'm going to do the captain's log and just I keep love it. bring, at, like, live the that whole time. That is so smart. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank God you're also sane because as comics who watch this, we all know that most comedy club owners are the most crazy, crazy. people. Like, because right. comics are crazy. So if you yeah. want to deal with comics, you must be nuts up. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? like, yeah, I get that question all the time. Like, oh, my God, must be so cool. I mean, about half of them are cool. The other half are... Dicks. Bad shit crazy. I know. Dicks. Yeah. Bad shit. Right. I said crazy. I didn't say anything else. I did. I said dicks. Oh. <laughs> but they <laughs> are. I mean, some of it, them it's get hard such, to deal with. Yeah. yeah. Some people, people get, get weird such egos. egos that they think they deserve random crap for yeah. being faint. You know, I, it's just weird. Yeah. But it's, yeah. A, it's interesting. You know, it's a, it's not like everybody else's job. It's not. It's really not, right? It's not. Like yeah. It's not yeah, we have more excitement. Right. You, we, you, we may be crazy, but we're not dying under fluorescent lights. Correct. <laughs> we're not, you know, we're not yep. being cooked under mm -hmm. fluorescent right. lights for right. the rest of our lives. Exactly. Exactly. So what's new um, in the comedy world for you guys? I mean, we're touring. You're still touring. Still touring. And you're yes. shooting a special or something, aren't you? Yes. We're shooting several comedy specials this summer. We're shooting Dante's uh, one hour special. We're shooting my half hour special. And then a bunch of comics. Specials. And then several others, yes, that we will announce. Um, and where are those going to be? In LA. We're shooting these in Los Angeles. Okay. Yes. Yep. I mean, so, and we already have the budget all set and uh, planned and crew and everything. So exciting. everything is lined up, thank goodness. Very yes. cool. Yeah, Rebecca at our company, I'm the manager. She's the producer. So she's been setting up mostly the festival yeah. and the productions and things okay. like that. And I handle the clients and such. So the question I guess I always like to ask the comedians that come on my show is how did you get started in comedy? Oh, well, How did Dante, you know you were going to be a comic? All right, so, you tell. So I'll tell mine. So when I was a child, at around seven years old, I was a big fan of comedy. Richard Pryor was probably my favorite, and Bill Cosby. Um, what happened there? No yeah. one else. I mean, sometimes Brand. you can trust people in sweaters, and sometimes right. you can't. Exactly. It's a moral so, story. But anyway, so I lived on a Navy base, and this uh, USO show came through, and it was sort of an improv troupe, and my friend, my little buddy who loved Richard Pryor and yeah. uh, Cheech and Chong with me, we both watched this show, and we turned to each other and said, we could do stand-up. And we wrote a little act, and we did it at our school, and we won some contests, so they sent us to all the schools. 
And from that day on, I said, I'm a stand-up comic. So by the time... <laughs> right out of school. Right out of school. high school. Yeah, no, I had seven years old. And so ah. then at 14, my parents moved... Or 12, my parents moved me to San Diego. And at 14, I turned to another friend in high school and said, do you want to be a comic with me? And we, we formed Dante and the Wolf Comedy Team in 1986. And I started doing stand-up at the Comedy Store and the Improv in San Diego. Yeah. And the rest is herstory. Wow. Um, I uh, dropped the wolf, who we are still friends. He actually might write my autobiography. Is he still a comedian? No, he is a lawyer with one of the most incredible stories. I actually want him to write my book because he might write part of his story in the book. Oh, cool. Yeah, his brother, I mean, it's, it's just a long story. Crazy story. It's a crazy, crazy story crazy, all crazy the way story. around. I mean, with it, it involves... You can't talk about it. Espionage and murder oh, and wow. TV shows and all That's sorts amazing. of things. Yeah, for real. Yeah. All of this stuff. FBI. And wow. Like, it's an incredible deep. story. It's getting deep it's on getting the log. Deep. Yeah. Got, it, yes. Um, it's getting Nancy Grace on the log, you guys. But it anyway, is. so but anyway, he's doing great. He's uh, but he has an incredible story. His brother is actually a client of mine as well. His brother is David Wolf, who uh, is the new Nutribullet guy. Oh yeah, yeah. You know the, the guy Nutribullet? who makes the yeah yes. the yeah, commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and then he's also famous too because he's uh, a guru for health. Like he's uh, oh. they call him David Avocado Wolf. He's great. He does <sighs> speaking engagements all over the place. He's wonderful. That's awesome. Yeah. And Rebecca, how did you start in comedy? So, um, I always was performing and doing shows. I grew up in Las Vegas and started performing when I was really young there. Yeah, why don't you tell more about that young lady? Um, so when I started doing shows illegally on the Las Vegas Strip when I was 13. Oh. Started doing dinner and you theater. Were looking like you were 21, right? Or yes. you were. Yes. yes. And lying about my age and working. I was working when I was 13. Right. And of course, wow. there were men. And how about your parents? How did they feel about that? Um, I don't think my dad, I don't know. My parents were divorced by that time, so I don't know if my dad, dad really knew the care. extent. Right. And neither did my mom, really. I mean, they were like, hey, you know, if you want to go do it and make your money, go for it. So, really? Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I did. So I started doing if that. If my 13 year old daughter said, Dad, I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm going to Vegas and I'm going to do shows, I would say, funny and smack her and put her back to well, bed luckily she lived there but it's not like she yeah. took off for it <laughs> right i didn't take it's off. like her mom was driving her to the strip it's not like she could drive herself her mom had to take her to these shows yeah yeah, yeah. no i guess she and was shaking like, her booty <laughs> well it's not like i'm really gonna smack her either so i guess the whole story was a bunch of bull <laughs> right all right. So, so. Um, so yeah, and then I um, I moved to Los Angeles when I was seventeen, and I've been um, you know I've done a lot of film work and stuff. And so I want, but I always wanted to do stand up comedy my whole life. I always wanted to do it. Yeah. And so um, when I was in my early twenties, like last week, yeah. um, I wanted to take a comedy class. And at that time, Dante was teaching comedy classes. So... Because my daughter was just born and I needed to stay in town more. So oh, I yeah. decided to start okay. teaching some classes for, you know, sure. because I had started a comedy show at this bowling alley near my house. And uh, this is how we met. So it's actually a nice story. I was going through Very a divorce nice. and didn't want a woman in my life. But she walked in after she had called me weeks before. And uh, it, was, it was. I hear the wedding bells. Yeah, but it was like daylight out, and I was in this dark bar, and all I could see was a silhouette of this perfect woman. I looked down, and I was like, I don't need women in my life right now. And I'm doing my paperwork, and she walked up, and she goes, Are you Dante? And I looked at this woman, and I went, Yes, yes, I am. And I was hooked <laughs> from that moment. That was on. it. That was it. And same with her. She was. It was love at first sight. Yes, in. I she did. She had stalked me at that point. Yeah, before. she did. Of Old school stuff. She called the comedy store and spoke to a guy named Stephen Glickman who was supposed to say you're supposed to take classes from Sandy Shore, but he said the best guy in town is Dante. So luckily, if it weren't for him, we wouldn't even be there. That was great. Yeah. Yeah. Good move. Good, Good move. move, Stephen Glickman. So how can they find you on Instagram, Facebook? Tell everybody because... Uh, We're not on any social media. Don't lie. Don't lie. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Instagram is my life. I'm kidding. It's not my life. It's kind of... So you can follow me on um, Instagram at Rebecca Cochin, yeah. R-E-B-E-K-A-H-K-O-C-H-A-N. You can follow my lovely husband. And she also just took a bunch of new hot headshots and some sexy pictures. Oh, okay. Let's do that. Yeah. We, can't, we can't miss those. Hey. Yeah. 
Right. So, you get those followers, you guys. Yeah. You got to get those likes up. Got to get yep. those <laughs> likes, man. <laughs> Boom. Welcome to humanity 2019, That's bitches. That's right. That's right. Um, and mine is Dante the Comic, D A N T E, the comic. And on Facebook, my fan page is Funny Dante for some reason. Funny but, Dante. But you <laughs> said I could change that, right? I believe we can. Yes, right. absolutely. I'm going to change that. Yes, that's not a I problem. Need to make it all the same. Um, and get it all together. Our company is Golden Artists with an yep. S L A yep. online yes. at Golden Artists L A. And you or, book a bunch of different stuff. You book manages comedians, celebrities, you manage celebrities. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, and also go to the Portland Comedy Festival .com and submit to be in the yes. Portland Comedy Festival this right. year. Right, and well, if you want to just check it out on like Twitter or whatever, it's at the Portland Comedy Fest. Is that right? Or Portland Comedy Fest, honey? You tell me what it is on, on Instagram. On Instagram, it's at. Portland Comedy Fest. And yeah. then on, on Twitter, it's Portland Fest. Cool, cool. So uh, we're going to wrap up the Captain's Log, but if you have one question for me, I am I have ready. I lots of questions. Let's hear you. it. I'm ready. Okay. Can Where you... do we even start? So I asked you a question earlier, and I think it's an interesting Florida tidbit. Can I ask you it again? You can. All right. I've been seeing frogs everywhere, <laughs> and my dog loves to chase them. Yes. And so I want Our to dog find... is with us. Yes. Our He's son. A... What he, he's a drug dog. He's like uh, a, a rescue Which means drug. I shove marijuana up his butt when we fly. Right. Good. Because that's Good. safer Good move. than yes. us having yes. it. And we don't want to get arrested. I we agree. have a child. I know? agree. Right. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. So, uh, but what were we saying? So you here's the question. To, yeah. So our dog loves these frogs, and you were telling us well, something I'm not very expert. interesting, but you do know about it. I'm not like an amphibian uh, expert. We but don't know yes. that. But yes. there are, I noticed that there were frogs and toads, and I was warned about the toads. Yeah. And These poisonous what? toads that are everywhere. Yeah, they're the toads. Are, toads. Yeah, right? they're terrible. They're terrible. So they have, uh, they have, they like excrete some kind of toxin on the back of their two glands on their back. And pretty much like they paralyze and then could kill like most animals that eat them or touch them or lick them. Wow. So my and even, is really bad about that. And you were that. saying even that the a toxin dog gets die? on stuff. The toxin even gets on stuff and then they can smell it and get it on their nose and like, <laughs> yeah, then they just like get paralyzed and you have to get them to the, uh, to the vet right so away. So once they're paralyzed, you rush them to a vet. Yeah. And they have an antidote. But I, what I know about that could fit in a thimble. You could ask me something maybe that I had interest right. that I, I'm good I, at. All right. I have a question for you. <laughs> yes. When I first started checking out your club, how yes. long has it been open? We opened in 2005. Okay. I would guess I started looking at it about that time. Yes. I was big on BET in the 90s. I yes. Was, but I noticed at the time when you first opened, a lot of your acts were from BET. What, what was that connection? Because it's not a big BET crowd out here, but you must have been filling up. Uh, well, I think that we had a big fan base of, from Fort Myers, and they they do like uh, the urban acts. Yeah. So so we were bringing those in, but I don't know if we necessarily focused on that. No, um, I just had noticed. But that I also I, think that you didn't. But what I was complimenting you on was you were having acts that weren't playing a lot of like the improvs and stuff. Yeah. That were big acts that should be playing these rooms. But I was really excited to see that. I was a trying major to figure comedy out club, comedy. That's all. Yeah, but I a major literally. Comedy club was putting some players in there that weren't playing other places and I was really excited about your club because of that. I was just trying to figure it out, man. I had no previous experience. I've been to like maybe three comedy clubs in my life. So there's the question, and, what made you do it? Why did you uh, open a club? Okay, so I opened up the club based on the fact that the restaurant that I was uh, just about to open. The Rope. Uh, it was called Captain Brian's Seafood and Raw Bar at the time. Okay. We had just expanded from like a 70 seat restaurant to 250 seats. Wow. And, and was this on the island? Yeah, it was on Marco. So my thought was, well, after eight o'clock, it gets a little slow on the island. Let me try to start bringing in like national headlining comedians because everyone was doing music and then they weren't charging cover charges. And I was like, well, who wants to pay all these professional artists right. to come in and not take a door charge like how do they get free shows that's right. crazy so my thought was well i'm gonna do something different and i'm gonna bring in comedians that no one's ever seen before and they can't tell me like i can't charge for them but they did and then i was like well i'm sorry but i'm paying foot the bill and this is my club so they're gonna pay like people were first were, were like well why would we pay we can go see music for free you know because Back then, like on the island, there wasn't anything else other than like some free music, but like a lot of right. mom and pop kind of stuff. And I, I was, this isn't what I was all about. So 
That's that's how it started, man. That was wow. it. Wow. I have a question. Okay. Um, I want to know what the deal is with these Captain Brian spirits that I saw. Oh, yes. When Tell I us more about it. I was them. like, you I was taking have... pictures and I was like, wait a minute. This says Captain Brian. I you know, didn't I've have it following. before? No, this wasn't it. here. The last oh, time I was here, this so was I, not. So I started handcrafted, Florida made, organic, all natural, gluten free spirit line. And we do vodka, gin, rum. Uh, it looks you're getting delightful. a lot of likes on this one. Yay, Look at that. Everybody yay. likes your gin and vodka, and, apparently. Um, yeah, it's made here in Fort Myers, and I've been selling it like all over the state of Florida. Hopefully, soon we'll break out of the Florida and we'll go nationwide. It'll be exciting. Wow, that's Very great. Exciting. Hi, Angela, Nadia. You know, maybe Laura, we'll talk about it. I have a distributor overseas because Ron Jeremy oh. has rum and gin as well. Oh, see, then there you go. And so, this is, uh, we that's talk. amazing because I have. Gluten free, sugar free, all organic vodka. It's twenty six calories less. Which than is Tito's. huge. The vodka that yeah. is packed as gluten free. Yes, people because people always... buy Tito's because of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yes, yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. and, and we're completely sugar free and uh, and it's organic. Yeah, yeah. It's all Florida made. So we use nice. uh, we use one hundred percent yeah. Florida wow. uh, corn, and it's great. It's been wow. really good. So that's exciting. That's yeah, my that's, new move. That's really I didn't exciting. know that. I started in November, so I guess maybe you didn't know. Yeah, we yeah. were because yeah, we because launched we at the end of summer. November, and December first was really like the first day it hit the shelves. Congratulations! Thank yes, you. Thank you. congratulations! And I have to say, your food is outrageous. I, I really appreciate is. It's that. Outrageous. Yeah, it's outrageous. It's like most people would assume that. What'd you, you eat last night? Oh. What do you think? I mean, I. You had the clam chowder. Don't you say you like the clam chowder? I love the clam. chowder. He does. The clam chowder is outrageous. Yeah. Your steak falls apart. Oh, yeah. That's how good it is. Yeah, oh. the prime rib. Did you have the prime rib? No. Is it oh, good? Yeah, oh, I, have that I love the prime rib. Oh. That's my favorite on the menu. I mean, <laughs> it always is. I've never had one thing bad, and yeah. I've tried some. I try to, you know, thank you, eat thank my you, way through you. the menu. Man. I had the tuna tartare. It was outrageous. Oh, that's a good one. So good. And she had the yeah. crazy oh, salad. Like, so even good. your mozzarella yeah, well, it's is fresh the fresh. highest quality. Oh, yeah, of course. So good, and then the chocolate cake was outrageous. Yeah, you that guys we went still all had. in. All in, you finished with the chocolate lava cake. Yes. Oh, oh it's so good. Nice. You still have it. Like I'm thinking about it right now. <laughs> I know. I'm thinking That's about great. it too. That's great. My chef, Chef Gearson, he's amazing, oh. and uh, he's been with me for like 15 years. The guy's amazing. Wow. And his wife, Claudia. So it's great. It's great. Yeah, you have such a great staff. Yeah, everyone's super In the super front cool. and the back. Thank and you. Your thank management you. is always great. Yeah, it's just one of those clubs that's such a pleasure to come to. Well, and I hate to it. I hate to plug a hotel because I don't even know if they're giving you a discount. <laughs> but, I mean, I have stayed in thousands of hotels yeah. in my thousands. lifetime. Thousands. You know, and it's like the Hampton Inn where you put us up, man. They even had a little sign on the yeah. door this morning that said, you're in a happy place. And I was like, uh, I sure am. They do a good job. It's really good. And they... They, Clean, um, everything's they just white remodeled it. Yeah. It's like all brand new. So yeah, that's like when you too. know when they have the white comforter on top and it's right. pristine. You're like, I'm exactly. gonna be just fine. Did you know that they clean that comforter every every time they change the linens? Wow. Unlike some <sighs> some hotels, right? I know. Right, and it Most says hotels right. do not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I saw that. And there's nothing more disgusting. All right, guys. Well, this is the captain's log, and I want to thank Dante and Rebecca. It was a great show. It was always Thanks a all pleasure. Those, those those love dots going yeah, up, you guys. Yeah, they're so happy. Come see them at Off the Hook Comedy <laughs> Club. Get tickets off the hook comedy .com. First ten people that use the promo code Freaks. What? Uh, yeah, we'll give them ten. We'll give them ten tickets right now. Can I do that on my Twitter too? You can. You all can. right. My Twitter is Dante the Comic. My Facebook's broken right now, you guys. They kicked me off. So make sure it's Dante the Comic. I'll get you guys ten tickets too. So if you want to come see our show tonight Thanks, or Sunday, guys. but I can't get you Polly Shore tickets. No, nope, sorry. That's, but you're gonna be here all weekend. Yes. We're good. We're out. Later. Bye.